And then the way that you make the most of your uni course is by really, really honing in on the why of why you're doing that course and then what type of company you ultimately want to work for, what type of job you want to be doing, the type of people you want to work with. So then it's not about getting the grades and just getting good results and finishing the course. It's about preparing yourself so that when you do finish the course, you're in the best position to get employed. You know? And to understand that when you're applying for a job, don't just give them your results and your resume and what you did. Show them why you're passionate about the company. Show them what value you're going to generate. Show them how you're willing to learn. Tell them about times that you failed and that you overcame it. Tell them what you want to get out of this. And any single good company will hire you on the basis of that. Uh, and you're going to be ahead of 99% of the other people that will just hand in their resume that is cut and copied and pasted and all that. It's again one of these things where you spend marginally more time on it, but the result is significantly better. You know? Whereas some people just copy and paste and apply for 50 jobs. Pick five that you really want and spend the same amount of time that other person will spend on applying for 50. And research the CEO, research the company, and get really clear about the value that you think that you're going to provide based on who you are. You know? Share your story. That way you don't need a fear of not being employed. Because ultimately if you're willing to learn, and people understand that again, you're young, they're going to employ you. If you show passion, enthusiasm, that you're going to be reliable, that you're going to be dedicated, that you love the company, that you understand the company, it's a no-brainer. You know, people create a job for you, even if they don't have one, if they feel that enough. Because they'll be like, this kid, we want them for the next 10 years and we'll do whatever.